what a treat it is for every Don Knotts fan, which is just about everybody. Karen Knotts is the late comedian's daughter, and she joins us here at the Hammond Library. So what a treat this is, but what gives, what brings you here? I am here to do my show, Tied Up in Knots, which is about growing up with my father. And I've been doing the show, believe it or not, in libraries all over the state of Louisiana for the past three years. And also theaters in, in other states as well. <laughs> we hear that you talk about our favorite characters from Mayberry. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I have a good portion of, of Act One, or the first half of my show. I talk about all the different characters. and. And uh, my dad is Barney Fife, how he met Andy Griffith, and how the two of them were friends, and things that went on in the set, things like that. Do you do what amounts to an impersonation of your dad's character? I can do a little bit of that. When I, I tell people when I was a kid, people used to ask, what was it like growing up with Don Knotts for a dad? So I tell them, well, he was very strict. He put his hand, he'd put his hands on his hips so I'd see the gun. And I'd say, Daddy, Andy didn't give you your bullet this month. <laughs> And he'd say, that's enough, Miss Smarty Mouth. Go on upstairs, brush your teeth, do your homework, and don't hang out with those bad kids on the Brady Bunch. Well, you know, that show did, I mean, it had such an impact at that time. It was part of the culture in a way that no TV show today could be. That's so true, and that's what I hear from people all the time, constantly. Why can't there be more shows like this show? And it was just, it's just given people so much joy. Well, nearby in Punchatoula, a few years ago, they started calling themselves the New Mayberry. Oh. I suspect that a lot of towns across America have tried to compare themselves to Mayberry, USA. That's true, and there are Mayberry festivals all over the United States, and I perform at many of those, and it's a lot of fun. People are just, just Mayberry crazy. I mean, they just love that show. It seems like it's getting more popular now that it's over. Why? Because it had heart and the characters speak to people and the values speak to people and it's just so darn funny. And you would love to live in a time or a place in which their biggest problems were your biggest problems. Absolutely, I mean it's a total escape of course. I mean nowadays, you know, people just, we're, we're too fast now, we're too, you know, too much going on and that was a simpler time when people just cared about one another and fried chicken and and the and the Barney, there's a big basket of fried chicken and pickles and cornbread. You know, people like that. People that thought about the important things like food and eating. <laughs> well, please tell us something about Don Knotts that we wouldn't know. Uh, well, let's see. He loved English comedy. He loved British comedy shows. And uh, his favorite, what I think, was Up the Down Staircase, one of those shows. Um, and uh, he loved to eat out to eat. Well, I hear from my spies, you know, we have spies at Channel 17, that you've said Hammond is the prettiest place you've seen in Louisiana so far. It is beautiful here. I, I, yeah, it is. It is one of the prettiest places. I just love it. It's, it's just got this wonderful ambiance, you know, and it's pretty, and people seem so happy here. Well, you've traveled a good bit in the state. What are your impressions then of South Louisiana? Is this your first time to be in this part of the nation? It is my first time in South Louisiana. I've been in Northern Louisiana twice. But this is, it's very different, of course, you know. Um, I think it's a wonderful place to live and, and uh, just relax and have all kinds of wonderful things to do. Well, Mythical Mayberry was set in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. your, did your dad have any connection to North Carolina? Uh, not really. It was Andy's hometown, Andy Griffith's hometown, and he based a lot of the, the, the show on that place. Well, I wonder uh, if North Carolina in your travels is still a hotbed of Mayberry-ism. Well, it is. In fact, they have the Mayberry Days Festival every year there. And, you know, people go and they dress up like the characters. They have pie-eating contests, and they, uh, it's a lot of fun. I go there every year and do my show, and it's, it's gotten very big. Big, really big. <laughs> well, for Mayberry fans who see this and just want to get more, maybe you can give them some advice. On what? Well, yeah, they can go to KarenKnotts.com, correct? Oh, oh, yes, my website, KarenKnotts.com. Come and join me on Facebook, and... Uh, Come and, and, and see my show.